Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. Even before the United States was founded, American farmers routinely plowed their family land, first with the aid of mules or other livestock, now with mechanized equipment. But a twisted interpretation of the Clean Water Act is now threatening their livelihood with a test case that could set a ridiculous precedent. John Duarte is the president of Duarte Nursery, based in Modesto, California. He's being prosecuted for the crime of plowing his own property to grow wheat without asking permission from wetland regulators. The feds argue that the seasonal puddles appearing on John's land qualify it as a wetland, or to use another term, a navigable waterway. They further contend that when he plows several inches deep, John creates, and I'm quoting here, small mountain ranges. The feds say these mountains, which any rodent could cross in a second or so, are dry land, interfering with the nature of the so-called wetland. We were not able to arrange for John Duarte to be on the line with us today, but we've got the next best thing. The Pacific Legal Foundation has graciously given us permission to include excerpts from one of their YouTube videos in this report. It's called, Man Could Face Millions in Fines for Plowing His Own Land. As we join John in the video, we see him walking through an average-looking wheat field. So the federal prosecutor's expert biologists claim that the plow furrow that you may or may not be able to see here and the mound over here are not any longer wetlands. The little valley between them is still a wetland. But this is now a converted dryland due to our plowing four to seven inches deep. They describe this furrow here, this little mound next to the furrow, as many mountain ranges. John says he really can't afford to stand up and fight. If the $2.8 million fine is upheld, he might have to let go some or all of his 500 employees, raising the already high unemployment rate of Tehama County, where the farm is located. This prosecution could cost us everything, and it could happen to any farmer in America. If the federal agencies win this, any family in America will be able to be shaken down for the most common farming practices on land that may have been farmed in their family for generations. I don't like using the word twisted in a news story, but I believe I'm justified in this case. If you aren't already convinced, listen to this. The Clean Water Act grants an exemption from its requirements for farmers who plow. Sounds like the bureaucrats are running afoul of their own law. On the positive side, Duarte and the Pacific Legal Foundation are asking the Trump administration to abandon this holdover case from the Obama days. And the House Agriculture and Judiciary Committees are raising questions with Attorney General Jeff Sessions. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.